You've heard repeated warnings to stay inside. Public workers in Knox County are doing the exact opposite. Again, they're out 24 7 clearing and treating roads across Knox County. Reporter Aaron Velasquez takes us on the road with the driver of a snowplow for a look at what he is seeing this week. As Knox County crews are working to clear the roadways for the third night in a row, their workers are starting to feel the impact of the storm that covered much of the county in six to ten inches of snow. You know, their lives and their safety, from my, from my perspective, is in my hands. You know, I mean, I can't, I'd, I'd hate if I hit somebody, you know, especially just even by accident. Lyndon Kitts has been plowing the road since Sunday night. Be patient with us. Uh, you know, we, we're we human beings too, and, and there ain't been so many of us to go around. When their work gets put in the spotlight, they can feel the pressure to perform. We're not miracle workers for sure. Um, people think that the plow just comes out and uh, pushes the road off and throws a little salt down, and it's, it's ready to go, but unfortunately it does not work that way. A job that comes with the responsibility to keep others safe. As a plow driver, nobody, we don't want to go home uh, with, a, with a bad conscience on us knowing that, you know, we caused harm to somebody or, or uh, caused a death, an unneeded death. With temperatures in the single digits projected overnight, the road conditions are expected to worsen. Kitts tells me that the slickness comes from the moisture that sits on top of the roads, freezing in the low temperatures. Reporting in Knox County, I'm Aaron Velasquez. We are grateful for his work and the work of his colleagues. In just a few minutes, political critics called out the Knox County mayor for opting to campaign in Iowa for former President Donald Trump, while Knox County was seeing one of the biggest snowstorms in recent memory. We'll hear the response from the mayor later in this newscast. Knoxville